Hey everybody. Happy Monday. We uh actually my son Stone and I had an idea that we wanted to come on here live to you guys and really just kind of give um a, a few tips that we have for homeschooling. Um I know with everything going on that some of you out there have all of a sudden found yourselves in the homeschooling situation and I'll be honest, I've heard from a few people that are kind of struggling and, and having some some issues with getting acclimated. And so I'm going to take my glasses off here so it's not shining on you guys. But anyway, Stone was brave enough, say hi, Stone, hi. <laughs> to get on here with me. And for those of you who don't know, we have actually been homeschooling for, uh, let's see, October 2018. So technically a year and a half we have been homeschooling. And we thought this would be a really good time to come on here and just share some of our tips. So what I would really, um, and I wanted Stone here too, because obviously I went from just being mom to being teacher also here at home. And I don't know, we, we kind of had to make some adjustments, didn't we, on how to, that's all right, you can be honest, <laughs> on how to be better at this. So from the mom perspective, I will tell you guys, I've got my my tips written down here, so I wanted to go over this with you guys. But number one, the most important thing that I personally have found as a mom, because let's face it, you guys are at home and you are juggling the responsibilities of not only being a mom and or a wife and whatever your situation is, but then also being the teacher. And it's hard Sometimes, and especially like if you run a business out of your home or multiple businesses, it kind of gets to be a lot. So the number one thing that I will tell you guys is that it is absolutely important to set up a schedule. You have to set up a schedule, you guys, because I kind of what we fell into in the beginning was, um, well, we'll do school later. We'll, we'll go do chores and then we'll come back in and we live on a ranch, guys. So a lot of times what happens on the ranch is we go out to do chores and it takes longer than we thought. And by the time we get back, nobody wants to do school, right? You're like maxed out and you don't want to do school. So the number one important thing I feel is a schedule. And for us, when we uh, have a schedule in real life. So when you've gone to school in the past, you have to be there by 7.50 or 8 a.m. or 8.15 or or whatever it is. So this is no different than this, you guys. You guys, seriously, um, that was probably the biggest aha moment for me. Um, so a lot of times what we'll do is we'll get up here, we get dressed because you don't go to school in pajamas. So there's something about, it's kind of like working from home too. If you um, work in your pajamas, you probably just don't feel as you know productive. Also, if you're a woman and you want to do your makeup and your hair, I say do your makeup and your hair because it makes you feel like you got your stuff together, right? If you lounge around in pajama pants all day, I will assure you, you don't feel very productive, or at least I don't. So Stone gets up in the morning, and what's the first thing you do in the morning? He eats. So he goes and has breakfast. That's important, guys. And something about eating, and I'm skipping around on my list here, but make sure that you're eating well and you're getting enough sleep. Like just because we're not in school or at work physically doesn't mean that we just throw it by the wayside and, and stay up till three in the morning and then try to get up and live a normal life. Like that is not going to work. It's certainly not going to work for him. He's 11. It wouldn't work for me either. So we set a regular time. This is no different than anything else, guys. So we are in bed 9 p.m., 10 p.m. max. That's just the way it's always been for us out here on the ranch. It might be different for you. You might have your children go to bed earlier, and that's totally fine. Whatever you do, whatever you were doing, keep doing. This is not a free-for-all. Stay up and watch movies till midnight and then think you're going to be, you know, you know, productive the next day because you're just not. Um, like I said, dress for learning. You guys, we're ranchers, so we wear jeans and t-shirts a lot, ball caps. That's just our norm out here. So that's what we do. Um, the other thing that I will say too is um, for organization, make sure that wherever you decide to learn, um, make sure that you, oh my gosh, my husband just texted us. We have a colt, our first baby. See, that's the fun part. So, oh, and he just walked in. What? We have a baby colt, you guys, our first one of the year. We're doing a live video. I don't care. <laughs> I want to see a picture. Okay. Oh, he's going to show us a picture. 
Oh my gosh. It's a little bit early, you guys, but there it is, our first baby of the year. Not a, not a paint baby, but a baby nonetheless. Okay, so we'll get back to our itinerary here. I'll have to check out more about that. That's, that's the exciting thing, you guys. So us out here on the ranch, it's kind of like a science class every single day, wouldn't you say? Like we get to go out and explore. You need to say stuff too. I'm the one talking all the time. What do you think about homeschool, Stone? It's fun. So what did you notice the biggest difference like when you left school in town? And you guys, we made the decision because we live in the middle of nowhere. It was just too hard for us to get back and forth plus pay for a place in town. So we decided to homeschool. But like what was the biggest thing, a positive? Because I know not being around your friends and stuff has been an issue. But what do you tell them what you think about homeschool? Truth, truthfully. What I don't like is like. Well, I mean, I like having, like, it's not very long, and, like, you can go outside earlier, and, like, you can do as much as you want, like, you can get ahead, and it's not so hard. Yeah, so that's true, you guys. So, I don't know what kind of homeschool you guys are going to do, but we do Western Christian Academy, Um, so, uh, I don't know, what is our school a day? Two hours? Or less. Or less? Like, we take an eight-hour school day and mulch it down into, like, two hours. And the biggest thing, you guys, again, get set a schedule. Make sure that you have a place for learning in your house. So right now we're in my office, and this used to actually be Stone's bedroom when he was little. And then we transferred bedrooms, gave him the bigger room, and now in our smaller room is my office. It's where I do my business. It's where we do school. Um, I also do my silversmithing and We've got a file cabinet in here and the, a couple of other tips that I will say, um, you definitely want to get organized. Um, and if you have a file drawer um, or a file cabinet or whatever, it's a really, really good idea if you don't have the physical books, because you might, your school might have provided you with those. But if you don't, like we don't have books. Stone does not have school books. What we do is we print his lessons off every single day. So when we print his lessons off every day, we staple them. We write on them, we do our schoolwork, and then we have a file that has every subject. So we have um, science, language arts, we have Bible, we have a Bible class that's really cool, Western Christian Academy. We have history, what other class am I missing, bud? Science. Science. Um, so we have a file cabinet, and what I normally do is those papers add up. So when you do an entire school year, the file is like this thick. So I break it down into quarters. And so once a quarter is done and we've finished the test for that year or that session, then I have a big, you know, paper cardboard file box and I put them all in there by subject as well. So being organized is something that will definitely help you guys as well. Um, the other thing is, is um, you, like your notebooks and things like that. You want to make sure that your kids are still writing things down because there's something about the brain and writing it down on on paper you retain it a lot more. Um, so printing out those lessons is really important for us. Um, and then Stone said something earlier about science class, and this is something that we really wanted to drive the point home. You guys also, and I keep saying you guys, it's just the way I talk, but what I'm saying is that one of the things that we discovered <laughs> is that we don't spend all day long in school. We get to go out and live life. So out here on a ranch might be different than where you guys are at as well, but you can still use it for activity, even your backyard. Um, Stone said it earlier, um, he gets to go out. He helps his dad with chores every day. He's got studs to feed, dogs to play with, chickens to feed, eggs to gather, <laughs> his favorite. <laughs> Um, and just being out in nature, like we do rock hunting, like we find rocks, he does, he's got quite the rock collection. Um, but that is science, like that's learning. So you may not be stuck in the classroom, so to speak, but you get to learn. So like, what are some of the things that you have learned since we started homeschooling that you've had like a better chance to learn? Like when you go out with dad, what have you gotten to see? Cool well, stuff. Like, more like how to understand about living in life and how to work on a ranch, like understanding life way better. Right, and what what do you and dad do like when you go and feed cows? What's important when you feed your feed cows? Mathematics. Math, yep. Probably some kind of animal science in there too, right? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Um, and 
he is quite quite a helper in the kitchen too, guys. So don't forget that there's a lot of life skills that can be taught no matter where you're at. And Stone cleans his own bathroom. Like he does the sheets once a week. We strip sheets, put new on. And, and like it's life skills that we are teaching our kids every single day. So I guess my biggest philosophy during this time is that we haven't had that huge of a, a I guess, change in our lives as maybe some of you guys have. But enjoy this time, you guys. Like, take a breath and realize that everything happens for a reason. This is out of our control. We can't do anything about this, but what we can control is what we do with this time. So use this time to get closer to your family. Get to know your kids better. Um, spend the time learning together. Maybe go out and go on a nature walk um, if you're like us, we're probably going to go ride our horses. Um, he said exploring. That's one of the, his favorite things ever to do is to go out and even in the cricks, right? There's really cool stuff to find out in our cricks or the badlands or just out in the pasture. There's really cool stuff that you can find out there. Uh, we've been roping the dummy almost every night. Um, roping, you guys, uh, cowboy stuff, if, if you don't know what that is. Practicing and um currying horses and, and doing that kind of stuff, mostly because uh, it's like uh, animal science in another way, but they need to be taken care of too. And they don't know what's going on in the world. So it's good for your soul to spend it with animals. Stone has two bucket calves right now too. So that <laughs> they're, they're kind of a pain because sometimes they want to eat and sometimes they don't. So if you've ever had bum calves around, you know, but you know, that's kind of uh, what our tips were today is to have a schedule Get dressed up and show up every day. Um, be organized, you know, get your files, you know, printing out your lessons, notebooks. Um, oh, yeah. Use non-school time for learning and life skills. Eat well, get sleep. And what does that say? Have fun. Have fun and enjoy this new way of learning. Right? Yes. I think that's the biggest, biggest important thing. And to realize, you guys, that... Uh, we're a family and we love each other. And I think just truly being positive and being a light for other people is so important. And our kids uh, feed off of what we're doing. So if we're having anxiety and stressing out about the learning situation and all that, they're going to too. And our whole philosophy out here is pretty nonchalant. Like he's learning, he's smart. I already know this. And I never tried to fill his teacher's shoes because that would have been impossible. So we took on our new way of learning as just that. And I hope you guys do that too. I hope you realize that this is an opportunity to do more and be more. Don't count on it as being perfect because believe me, we just got done with math lessons. I had steam rolling out my ears because I was like, my brain... <laughs> My brain doesn't really think that way. And it's like I had to retrain. But by doing it with him side by side and I was learning just along with him, it's OK to not be perfect and to not know everything. But to come into this with a willingness and an open heart and an open mind and knowing that you're going to learn. And my husband, Shane, who just came in and showed us the cult. Um, he's even stepped in to do, you know, school with Stone when I've been gone on trips. Obviously, that's not a, a thing right now. Um, but what I will say is that you just have to be partners and you have to have fun with this, you know, it, because this is something that we can't control, like I said again. But you can control how you feel about it. You can have a smile every day to be happy and healthy and just know that you're doing the very best you can. And that's really all there is, right? What are, anything else you want to leave them with? My son of many words. <laughs> I embarrassed him. I, I, <laughs> come back. All right. All right. Do you want to say thanks for watching today? <laughs> thank you for watching today. Yeah, thank you guys for watching. And feel free to share this video. It might help somebody out there. If you guys want to message me, I've been doing this for quite a while. There's really not a situation. I've had my hair pulled out in my own hands. Believe me, you guys. Um, but you want to have some resources, too. Make sure that you've got a dictionary on hand. If you don't, we had to order this one through Amazon. We also have lots of paper stocked up and lots of ink cartridges for our computer um, because you don't want to run out. And who knows when this is all going to end. But if you're prepared, you can take your time and it'll be it'll be great. So anyway, with that, we wish you happy homeschooling. Happy Monday. And we will talk to you guys again soon. Thank you for watching. <laughs> Bye.